June was National Dairy Month, but as dairy farmers can't take a vacation, we're not stopping our coverage just because it's July. In this week's Bottom Line, Twyla's Neil Melanson follows up his story from the beginning of June to see where the dairy industry is headed as summer rolls along. The Bottom Line is brought to you by The Cotton Board, strengthening the fiber of our industry. Back in June, when I talked to you about dairy prices booming in 2014 and then crashing through the first six months of the year, the good news now is prices have rebounded somewhat. John Bebermeyer, Director of Operations for the Dairy Farmers of America Southeast Region, says that while prices will continue to rebound, they won't reach last year's levels. Our forecasts are for improvement. Um, I'm thinking in the range of about $3, uh, probably two of that coming from um, coming from the market and probably a dollar of that just because of less balancing as we move into the uh, summer season. One of the factors supporting dairy overall is lower input costs, especially during summer when the production is off due to the heat. However, a new trend that looks to stay is a much more health-conscious America that wants to know where its food and fiber comes from. Bebermeyer says that means folks are switching off margarine and back to butter. Butter is back in vogue. It made the, uh, it made the front cover time, um, and butter consumption is coming back. Margarine sales are way off. Uh, folks nowadays want to know what they're eating and they want natural and, and they connect with butter. And so along comes, the, uh, along comes the news that it's not bad for you and here goes butter sales. And we forecast that the, there's going to be some strength there continued. The bottom line is it's still a tough time for producers in the dairy industry. With this price drop, we are seeing some dairy producers go out of business. Now, hopefully, with this price stabilization and a little increase, we'll see them stay in business, which is good news not only for them, but dairy consumers. You see, when milk comes from local sources like Klein Peter Milk here in Baton Rouge, that means that the milk price at the grocery store stays stable or even goes down a little bit when you don't have to truck it in from Wisconsin and New Mexico. And even though oil prices Prices have dropped a bit here this year as well. They're set to rise later on, which means increased cost overall. Now, guys, one bit of good news I know you want to hear is, speaking of dairy, Bluebell Ice Cream is set to return to stores in Louisiana. They are reopening a plant in Alabama. Neil, I know a lot of people are going to be happy to see Bluebell back in their freezers. Thanks a lot, Neil Malasson. Yeah. I love ice cream. I love cookies. I just sound like a big hog today, I guess. No, no, no. You don't sound like a hog. And to give credit where credit is due, you enjoy sweets, but it does not show. Because all I eat is sweets. <laughs> Nothing else but sweets. Twizzlers. I went through an entire pound of Twizzlers this You do past eat a week. lot of Twizzlers. Yeah, bad. Well, that does it for this edition of This Sweet Twyla. Be sure to join us next week when AJ Sabine will show us how you can learn new ways to improve your garden. Until then, you can watch any of our stories from this show or our past shows on twylatv.org. And keep up with what we're doing. Follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, find us on Instagram. We are all over the place. Well, for Avery Davidson and all of us here at Twyla, I'm Kristen Oaks-White. Thank you for joining us. We hope to see you again right here next week.